Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, and today we're going to be helping the Scooby Gang solve a mystery. And that mystery is, what this sauce tastes like. This is the Alchemy Company um, that created some wonderful sauces I have done in the past. They have a great bunch of fruit uh, blend sauces that are great for desserts. You can put them on a lot of stuff. They have strawberry ones, tropical ones. Absolutely amazing assortment. Check out the link below. This one is a bourbon smoked chocolate glaze. So, bourbon in most sauces is an absolute plus. I'm not a bourbon drinker, but the flavoring adds just so much, especially when it's like maple and bourbon and stuff like that. So, this one is, let me see here. Do, do, do. So the Botanist Alchemy is what the actual company is called. I usually see the Alchemy and refer to it as that. But it is the Botanist Alchemy. It is 100% organic, non-GMO, Ontario made in Canada with low sodium and gluten free. Now the ingredients on this one. Smoked hot peppers, uh, which are... Chocolate Scorpion, Chocolate Ghost, Chocolate Habanero, uh, then there's Bourbon Whiskey, Cocoa, Cane Sugar, Vinegar, Lemon, Pink Himalayan Sea, Pink Himalayan sea Salt, Vanilla Extract, and Xanthan Gum. So we have Scorpion, ghost, habaneros with chocolate and bourbon. And just holding it like this, there is a nice bubble. It's a nice, fairly consistent sauce. I would say similar to what you would get like an A1 sauce or any steak sauce or anything like that. I love when they come off easy. <laughs> so, so right now it appears it's about here in the uh, well not about here on the level of the uh, bottle and just tipping pretty good flow. Uh, got a pretty good consistency. Trying to see if I can slight wiggle as it moving on the bottom there. So not too thick, maybe thinner than I'm thinking. So we're not quite a barbecue sauce thickness, but let's crack into this and find out what we've got here. Oh. Can I just sit here all night and smell this and not really give you a taste test? You can smell the cocoa. Obviously, it's chocolate. You can smell the peppers. Just that, like a fresh cut pepper smell. That's what I'm getting. The bourbon is a slight tinge in there. But the chocolate is the more, most prominent uh, odor. But the peppers... Just bring out, they, they emphasize. If you ever had spicy chocolate, you know what I'm talking about. So, Bondus Alchemy's Bourbon Smoked Chocolate Glaze. Not sure how it's, ooh. So, a lot thinner than I was expecting. Does have a typical barbecue kind of look to it simply because of the cocoa on that. Oh. Trying to place how I can describe this for you guys. I wouldn't say top of the line chocolate, but kind of that smell you get when you open up 
like an Easter chocolate, like the, the mid-range kind of chocolate they, they make the eggs or the, the bunnies out of, the milk chocolate, just when you crack that initial smell of chocolate, that's what I'm getting from this. Such a wonderful smell. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. But cheers. Oh. Oh. She's got a kick. I was forgetting what the peppers were in there. Oh. Oh. That scorpion. She's kicking. Or stinging. Whatever you want to call it. Right on the top of the mouth. Oh. <clears throat> it's three chilies and says hot on it. No, no blank chilies, so. Whew. Didn't even look at that. <clears throat> I just wanted to try it because of what it was. Oh. Don't really taste the bourbon. Oddly enough, don't taste a lot of the chocolate. The chocolate is more aroma than it is taste. Um, it is a good sauce. But, again, it's more of a glaze. as it, That's what it is, a glaze. So you put this on your food and let it cook into it. I wouldn't necessarily be eating it straight or just pouring it onto like wings or something. Mind you, you could, but cooking them in there. I actually have something in mind I could possibly use this on. I'll have uh, to test that out with my idea and it's not for a few months, so I'll let you guys know how it goes if I remember to. <laughs> Taste-wise, I'd give that about a five or a six. It's mid-range. It's nothing, hey, look at me, flavor-wise. <clears throat> but it is, it's decent. There's better, there's worse. Heat-wise, that scorpion hit me, as you could tell. I would put that probably at about a four and a half or a five right now for my uh, heat tolerance been down since I haven't really had a whole lot of uh, spicy stuff in the last month or so. So I'm going to get that belt back up. Oh, excuse me. Giving me the burps. And it's coming right back up with it. But as for a sauce itself, or glaze, whatever you want to technically refer to it as, it is very well done. Um, Bonus Alpri always does good work. Um, they've got some great sauces. Again, check out the link below. Check out the website. They're on TikTok as well. If you don't follow me over there, follow me. I'll have the information below. Their information will be below as well. Ooh, give me the burps. They post a lot of their new products when they're going to be at events, stuff like that. So, yeah, it is a, I don't want to say it's a run-of-the-mill sauce because it's not. It's, from my taste buds, it's midpoint. Your taste buds, somebody else said it could be high, could be low. We all know everybody's different. And I'm definitely different. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching this video and this isn't your first video watching me, you know I'm different. But the aroma, the taste, the heat, all very good in the sense of what it is. I'll have to, like I said, try it more as a glaze as it is meant to be and go from there. But other than that, Enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and I'll see you next time when who knows what different concoction I will be trying. Until then. What do you for this heat? Might work in a drink, a touch of a, a cocoa and spice to something. Small batch limited edition, so if you can't find this one, you better look find it quick soon because it may not be around.